brothers and sisters well sitting here in the car heating on because it's freezing here <clears throat> and i just want to do i see comments on on the comment sections of the videos um, talking about once saved always saved you know and i'm a great believer of once saved always saved in um and I'm, I'm going to leave it open, you know. I believe that when you confess with your mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in your heart that God raised him from the dead, you're saved. You know, and that, that's what it says. It says, you know, Ephesians 2, 8 and 9. It is through grace, by faith, not of yourselves, it is a gift of God, so that no man might boast. You know, we've got all the scripture that suggests um, once saved, always saved, you know. And I agree that. But that would throw a bit, and, and I'm throwing this out as an open now, an open hat. Once saved, always saved, okay, might be misleading is what I'm saying. Not that it isn't true. It might mean that we don't have to pick up our cross and, and follow Jesus and get to know Jesus. And that's my biggest danger with saying the words once saved, always saved. I really do pray that once saved, always saved is it. You know, but there's a lot of a lot of input for that, you know, for a start, the seed you know the parable of the seeds you know we've got to read that we can't just take it at face value that we're saved is what i'm saying we are we need to confess we need to believe and we need to repent that is change your ways change your mind change your heart you know so and then we look at the talents you know the uh, parable of the talents and don't take it for granted there's too much to be uh, there's too much on the table here to take it for granted we mustn't take it for granted and we mustn't mislead anybody. We have to have everybody following the Lord Jesus Christ, taking on board what he's saying, doing what we need to do, believe, yes, uh, confess, yes, and repent, yes, and repentance is um, changing our ways, changing our ways, doing everything about um, Jesus we can in within our strength our current strength the holy spirit will provide you know now if you're coming to jesus with a mind of i'm just going to say the words then that isn't that isn't faith that's just words even satan knows that jesus is there you know if i say that jesus is lord i can even say jesus is lord they're just words you've got to believe it in your heart I and repent you've got to turn around from what you've been doing you've got to start to understand the holy spirit is speaking to you and that he is now taking helping you out to control your own life is the best way of putting it you've got to do this once saved always saved once saved always saved if i preach that to a lot of people uh that confess with your mouth that jesus is lord and believe in your heart they could easily say they believe in my heart that jesus is lord they can i mean the devil believes Jesus and he knows he's Lord. What, what, what you know, I'm, I'm not, I'm not having a go at one saved, always saved here. I'm really not. I'm just a little fed up with uh, people saying these statements and people going off. People I know and love are going off thinking that's all I have to do. No, it isn't all you have to do. You have to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. How do you do that? Well, you. You, you 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 start to know him you start to look for christian things you start to seek him uh, you start to read the bible is a good one <laughs> you know this brings me to another point I'll, I'll come on in a minute if i don't forget but you've got to turn from him you've got to once you start to identify i mean the world does not know pornography is now anyway in this hardened mind that it's wrong it's evil it's not from god it's from the enemy Whew, get that right um so it's 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 that turn around and the knowledge and listening to the holy spirit which is part of keeping you firm in your salvation you know keeping you firm in your salvation that's your scripture here you know go back to the parable of the seeds and spend sometimes that start some time there in the strongs in everything that's about the parable of the seeds um and 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 find out about what what's he talking about you know I mean, if, if I planted a seed, I will have told someone to confess with the mouth that Jesus is Lord and believe in the heart that God raised him from the dead. That's, that's certain the first thing I would say. That's the scripture I use most, there's many more. But then that must, might mislead people to think that that's all I have to do. No, it isn't. He'd done a great deed on the cross, a universal, everlasting, um, before time, 
mega deed. He was God who came down in human form and was sacrificed by people he loved. He was rejected, he was beaten, despised. You know, it wasn't for nothing. It wasn't a free, free, free gift in that sense. It was paid for. So we have respect and duty to continue our lives. So for those who are saying once saved, always saved, I just add on, you know, there's more to it. You know, I don't believe, quite frankly, we can go back to the old way of life uh, for too long. You know, we will stumble, we will fall, we will backslide. But our heart always must be focusing on him. I can remember in some, I, I, I'm back, I've been backslidden. I've been backslidden until I've been called to do this ministry. And it, it's a state you're aware you're in, okay? That's the, but you know you're backslidden because you know the Lord. You knew him in the first place. And I say this, um, and I know I'm going to get trolled for this, but not by my brothers and sisters who work for the Lord and, and have given their lives to the Lord completely. You know, in, in their thoughts, their deeds, their readings, their study, their television, uh, their games. Everything they do, the Lord is first. You know, when I go to the movies now and watch, which uh, incidentally is quite like how it's going to be in the end times, I, I actually can see I'm looking for God in the movie. I'm looking for biblical things in the movies. My mind has changed, my whole attitude has changed, and always has been since I confessed some 48 years ago. Even though I've been backslidden, I've been through terrible times, uh, I've done terrible things, my mind has always been, how can I get back to the Lord? And I'll share one with you. In, in, a, in, a, down, in a backslidden state, I decided, um, you know, I decided that I wanted, he was always there, but I decided I, I, I need to get back to where I came from. And I started just saying the Lord's Prayer every day on the way to work. That's all it needed to trigger it. Before I knew it, I was back in fellowship and I was reading a chapter of the Bible a day again. Okay? Our, our focus is always on Jesus and we won't have anything wrong said about him. Once saved, always saved. Well, I'd say it's by confession with the mouth and belief on your heart that he's Lord and that he was risen from the dead on the third day sincerely in your heart is salvation that's more the way I'd put it to you um, if you're watching this video and you know a brother and sister you know on the rewind we're in the end times now it's becoming desperately important to me to teach the, the truth as I feel led to do so and I had to make this video. I'm actually waiting for an appointment to, and the brothers and sisters will know, to actually go and get the camera down. The last one was a consultancy. So I'm sat here with half an hour to go and I thought this has been laying heavy on my head because in my workplace, I don't get a chance to be what I'm doing now, spending time with the Lord when I'm driving along, um, singing, singing to him and, and just being with him. And that's picking up your cross and, and following Jesus. That is being part of him. You know, I watch, I'm in the hospital car park and I'm watching all the people coming and going. We're all gonna be dead soon, three score years and 10. It's vitally important that we get our heads together on this, what people are saying. And there needs to be a bigger teaching behind the once saved, always saved. There needs to be a bigger understanding on the once saved, always saved. I'm not knocking the once saved, always saved. People come to the Lord. And anybody who brings anybody to the Lord, in my opinion, is doing a good job. But we mustn't let the enemy get in anywhere and not convince us that there's more to once saved, always saved, going back to the old lifestyle. Because that's, that's what it could indicate to some people. That's why I'm saying I'm sorry. I'm sorry if it's controversial again. But I'm fed up of hearing it now. It's time to be blunt. It's time to put... Don't, don't please comment, oh, once saved, always saved. Please say, no, I've, I've, I've read. I've gone back through the parable of the seeds, the parable of the talons. And, uh, you know, I find this. I I'll certainly work with you because I need to put it to bed. I need to put it to bed in, in my life. I need to know what I'm talking about, you know. So I this is a question video, not a hey, 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 do what I'm telling you. You know, don't trust anyone, Jesus said. And that includes me. Don't trust me. You can trust him and you can trust the word. So... 
anybody puts one saved over saved, ask them a few questions. That's all I'm saying. Ask them a few questions. Um, for me, I was saved on confession. I was saved on believing that he, he is Lord and was risen on the third day. I believed in my heart straight away, although I looked up at the clouds and wondered. I had to go and find out. So it wasn't straight away. It was a period of time that I actually know now that there is God and know now that there is a Jesus. But I had to believe in the first place. So I hope that wasn't confusing because I am a little bit anxious for, for the next hour of my life. <laughs> and all I can say is, brothers and sisters, may God bless you and keep you, make his face to shine upon you and be gracious to you this day and always. And, you know, do leave a respectable comment in the description. I'd like to talk about this. And on the description of this video, um, there is a Discord link. Please join the Discord. I will be talking to the brothers and sisters over there. I think we need to put uh, a individual room in there where we can all go and leave our ideas so we can get to the bottom of this. I'll tell you to be sure it is in the Bible. I'll leave you with that. God bless. <laughs>